Zimbabwe. Once upon a time, the clothing and textile manufacturing sector was one of the biggest employers in South Africa. Today, though, it only employs about 95,000 people. In the 90s, it was over 600,000. You see, when South Africa opened up its economy to the world in 1994, the industry struggled to compete with low-cost producers elsewhere. In fact, the decline was so rapid, it nearly nuked the entire sector. The government is now planning, uh, developing rather, a new plan to take the industry forward. Here's Sumitra Naidu with a preview. The Proudly South Africa Buy Local campaign is showing some progress. The company is now holding a series of forums bringing together designers, retailers, manufacturers and labor to discuss the way forward. The plan really is to create full value chains. So even though you have some of the fabric being imported, the design, the cutting, the trimming, the sewing, even the sales and distribution all gets done here locally. Data shows the textile industry is no longer in decline, but it is flatlining, which is why a new master plan is being developed. We need to secure consensus around this so that we can get all the players in the value chain bought and in, involved in agreement. And only then do we start to actually look at the policy levers, the regulatory changes and the programmatic content that needs to be developed in order to actually achieve that vision. Globalization was a tough lesson for South Africa. It's now being proactive and inclusive. We have had a significant intervention to date, but something quite hasn't worked. And that's what the master plan intends to address. As a union, we've been very involved in the formulation, the debates, the workshops, etc. We certainly give our full support to the master plan. The master plan is expected to build on benefits and incentives for the sector that will improve value chains. Individual companies, on an annual basis, they can apply. And uh, they will apply for a grant which is 7.5% of their manufacturing value aid for that previous year. You can use it for developing your people, developing new products, buying new equipment, and also making sure that if their systems, manufacturing systems, which you want, you can use it from that grant. Retailers are slowly getting on board, partnering with local designers, but there's only a handful that have shifted from buying internationally. It takes a retailer like yourself to make that bold decision, to give that opportunity to that designer, to give that opportunity to sell rows and adults to make your shoes, to make sure that there is localization and that we are starting to create jobs for the designers and for the manufacturers. And so we need the support of the retailers. If the industry master plan 2030 works, more jobs will be created across these value chains and may take the sector back to where it once was. Smith Renadu, CGT and Johannesburg, South Africa. It's time for another break on the program. Here's what's